Hello everyone, this is ASM IF today welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorial. Today uh, we'll show just how to make a poster, a football poster like that. Okay, I'm opening up the poster, this one. Okay, uh, now World Cup is running, that's why I'm just making this type of uh, design for you. And I'll show you how to do this type of design in the easiest way. So let's start okay uh, I'm taking a file which is a new file and that is the 2560 and 1440 and just hit the create button after that go to the file and place embedded from the place embedded option you'll get this type of uh, stadium picture I'll provide you this type of picture in my video description link and uh, you can uh, download that okay and hit the ok button after that just right click and restylize this layer and press ctrl t or just go to the perspective options and press the shift and alter button and just make it like that and hit the ok button after that go to the file and place embed it again i'll insert a picture of cristiano and i'll make it bigger like that and I'll place it in this area and hit the OK button. Here is some sticker. Um, I'll just uh, delete this one. At first, restylize that layer, this layer, and go to the lasso tool directly and direct selection, freehand selection, and delete button. Press delete options, it will delete. Press Ctrl D for the deselect, and after that, I'll give shadow uh, behind this area. Uh, just because of lights coming from the left side and press ctrl J for another layer and press ctrl and select this layer and this turning off and press the alter button and delete button okay select this layer first and okay alter and delete and after that turn on this layer and deselect for the deselect press ctrl D and press ctrl T select this layer and press ctrl T and make this layer like that press the ctrl button and you can get this layer like that and you can make it smaller okay, okay. adjust this one and hit the ok button after that press ctrl T again and press the ctrl button and just adjust with the leg just because of uh, shadow is coming there and press the wrapping options and you can adjust this one okay and hit ok after that in the shadow layer I'm giving the name shadow and this one our model okay shadow from the shadow layer select this layer and go to the filter and the blur from the blur gaussian blur select and you can give 15.5 percent gaussian blur and hit okay and keep the opacity down and like that okay after that uh, take this and just select this layer and take a blank new layer and select this brush and make it uh, just reset this one make it black and make sure that your brush just first brush is selected hardness 0% and 30 or 40 pixel is good and just down the opacity a little bit and flow a little bit like that and just brush over there for the natural look just brush over there okay you'll get a natural look from there uh, before and after after adding shadow you are getting the natural look over there okay after that select this layer again and take a blank layer make it white and go to the brush options and select a cloud brush uh, I downloaded some cloud brush and I'll give that link to you for use and just opacity 80% around 80% and flow just 
like that and make the brush size bigger by pressing the third bracket closing and just brush over there randomly you can brush over there don't apply too much otherwise it will be just like that you can make it smaller or bigger or you can brush over there okay that's good you can increase the opacity and apply that brush a little bit okay when you are using the brush just you have to be careful uh, for applying that uh, otherwise it could be fake type okay you can adjust like that by pressing ctrl t and you can make it bigger or smaller whatever you want okay and adjust with that and hit the ok button after that i want to write something over there uh, and add some logo i'm going to the file and place embedded option i have nike logo and uh, this one is not png logo how could i make it png select the tick button at first and go to the magic one tool and select once before that just make it restylize layer otherwise it won't work and select or press the delete button the white portion will delete and press the ctrl t for the transform and just press or place over there and hit the tick button but this one and the dark color black color and the field is uh, green color dark and dark just overlapping overlapping over there that's why i'll go to the blending options and color overlay and i'll make it white and hit the ok button if you want you can use the drop shadow over there a little bit drop shadow um, uh, just uh, like uh, opacity 72 percent make it black 90 90 degree angles uh, just uncheck this one and make it 90 okay after that uh, distance 7 spared hole uh, just uh, 5 and size 6 and make it like normal and hit the ok button okay i'll add text over there uh, so i need a text so that i'll go to the file and just i'm taking text from my text button okay this one is my text i'm making copy and just taking the text layer text uh, just select here and just paste over there okay uh, it's selected and i will adjust the logo and the text like that okay i can make it smaller like that and hit the ok button and from the text i'll adjust the just uh, i'll delete the space between letters and it will be like that and uh, the same drop shadow i want to apply over there that's why just uh, i'll just copy the layer style and paste in the text here is the okay but i want to color over let turn it off okay that's good or you can use like that or whatever you can you can just select or place place this one in this portion and select these two layer and make it in a alignment of this and make it group and press ctrl a and place it in a middle press ctrl d for the deselect okay now time for applying some effect over there select all the layers in a group make it group and make it in a march go to the filter and the nick collection color effects pro 4 from the nick collection color effects pro 4 i will apply some effect uh, here lots of filters and effects but i am using the cross processing and i'll use uh, any kind of filter you can use over there you can try other filters which one is more shiny or which one is perfect to you you can use those i am using the l05 and hit the ok button you can adjust the strength of that shadow and highlights over there and hit the ok button after applying that you will get another look of this photo which is uh, really nice and dreamy okay after that i'll just select this layer and i'll go to the filter and camera filter from the camera filter i will adjust the just color lights and shadows 
okay at first the exposure are a little bit down make it down minus 0 0.15 and highlight I'll down add some shadow and I will desaturate variance this one I'll decrease the variance okay a little bit minus 10 or something or uh, then I'll go to the camera calibration I'll make it like primary blue color and primary green color like that and primary red color I'll make like that and I want to play with the just color of that and going to the sharpening amount of sharpening like that and luminance of noise reducer like that and hit the ok button after that go to the color lookup options and add another foggy effect I'll add foggy effect and I'll make it a little bit down after that again I'll select those things make it group and make it merge after merging this one I'll again uh, apply the another filter which is Google from the Nick collection color fix pro and now I will add a relevant color like that and hit the ok button ok you'll get another feel or nice feel of this photo uh, this one is too much simple to make uh, and uh, now the football just world cup is uh, running uh, so this one is nice for you okay thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't forget to share with your friend if you have any kind of questions or query please do comment on my video comment section okay i am asmr signing out today and till the next video bye bye